CCSVI stands for Chronic Cerebral Spinal Venous Insufficiency, a condition described as an obstruction to the venous drainage of the brain and spinal cord with proposed impact on the course of multiple sclerosis. In our experience, we have not seen this to be true, nor has the published literature supported this uh, theory. What we have found in our experience is that the condition is in fact autonomic dysfunction. The abnormalities seen within the venous drainage, rather than being a result of obstruction of flow, actually are a result of misdirection of venous flow brought about by dysfunction in the autonomic nervous system. The procedure that I initially did with patients in 2010 was one where we used a balloon catheter to unblock the veins that drain the brain and spinal cord. This was based upon the theory of Dr. Zamboni presented to the world approximately five years ago. With this treatment, we did not see that the symptoms related to it corresponded with the degree of obstruction in the veins. Additionally, we didn't see that the response in symptom improvements had anything to do with the improvements in flow that we generated. This was uh, a difficulty that we had to reconcile. In addition, we had uh, observations that were often seen with patients who had very quick responses. In other words, the balloon was inflated and patients reported symptomatic improvements immediately. When the balloon is inflated, there is no flow whatsoever. So to attribute the symptomatic improvements to a flow obstruction relieving procedure did not make sense with our observations. Additionally, we noticed that patients predominantly had symptoms of autonomic dysfunction at presentation and the symptoms that responded with the highest frequency were also autonomic in nature. We had to reconcile the observations we made that pa patients uniformly had improvements in their symptoms following treatment with this theory. The autonomic dysfunction as an explanation for both their symptoms and the treatment of autonomic dysfunction as a rationale for their symptomatic improvements fit nicely, nicely with our observations and began to uh, help us identify an alternative way of understanding and treating the patients which subsequently led to the procedure known as TVAM. TVAM is a new procedure used to treat autonomic dysfunction or what is known as dysautonomia. It involves placing a catheter inside a vein that has a special balloon at the end. By inflating the balloon inside the vein, we're able to stimulate the autonomic nerve fibers and improve the function of the autonomic nervous system. This results in a reduction in patient symptoms related to dysautonomia. The procedural goal is to restore balance. By restoring balance, we see that not only do the organ systems of the body function better, but the symptoms related to those dysfunctions are also relieved. For example, symptoms related to energy level, thermal regulation, cognition, and the function of organs that require cycles such as gastrointestinal and urinary systems are all improved following this procedure. Patients that are interested in this therapy typically have two very important questions. The first is, what are the chances this is going to help me? The second is, how long will that last? We've analyzed a recent series of patients in preparation for a publication in a medical journal, and from that we learned that the majority of patients do respond in autonomic symptoms actually immediately following the procedure. Those symptoms are fatigue, thermal regulation, and cognitive impairment, and the response is minutes after the procedure. It is an immediate response. This uh, response may diminish and fall off within two months' time in about 20% of patients. However, the 80% of patients see this benefit maintained. In a separate uh, study that we're doing with approximately 400 patients, we found that at six months, the majority have either continued improvements or maintenance of the symptomatic improvements. The best part about it is that having done this procedure for over three years is that I have patients now that have gone that long who've maintained the symptomatic relief from the day of the procedure until now.